Hey everyone, Hitesh here from ET's personal tech team and I have here the Amazfit Verge Lite. This is a brand new budget smartwatch from this company Amazfit. Now, uh, in case you haven't heard of them, they already have a few products out in the India market. It is a brand owned by Huami, which itself is a Xiaomi uh, ecosystem company. But Amazfit is here separately. Uh, not in partnership with Xiaomi. So uh, the Verge Lite is priced at 9,000 rupees. As you can see, it has a full uh, circular display. It's an OLED display as well, a 1.3 inch high resolution 360 by 360 pixels. So for 9,000 rupees, you're getting uh, all of that. It seems quite promising. Uh, so let's take a deeper look. We'll do an unboxing, give you a quick first impressions and maybe even compare it to a, a similar looking competitor. So that's what the box contains, a very simple, just a charger. You can see that it has the four pogo pins. That's where it makes contact with the charging points on the back of the watch. You have a user manual that just shows you how to get started. Now, this is of course compatible with both Android and iOS. The only requirement is you have to download the app and you need Android 4.4 and above or iOS 9 and above. So here's a closer look at the Verge Lite. It looks very, very similar to the Verge, which was priced at 12,000 rupees. This one comes in at 9,000. It's not a metal casing. That's the uh, first thing that I noticed. Instead, it is a glass reinforced polycarbonate paired with a silicone band. Now, it is full circle AMOLED though and touchscreen and there's only one button that says home. So that's the home button there. Uh, no other buttons that um, uh, at all. Uh, around the back, you can see that it does have the heart rate sensor. That's a closer look there at the heart rate sensor. And you can uh, make out the uh, four charging uh, points. That's where it makes contact with the charger. So uh, let's quickly run through the specs. Uh, I'll power it on in the meantime, set it up as well. It's a 1.3 inch circular OLED 360 by 360 pixels. Uh, in terms of protection, it is Gorilla Glass 3. It's a 390 milliampere hour battery. So um, weight, in terms of weight, it's not very heavy. It's about 46 grams. So um, it, it feels all right. It doesn't feel too heavy, but there are smartwatches like for instance, the Galaxy Active uh, from Samsung. Those are far lighter at about 25, 26 grams. So um, let me set this up quickly and, uh, and get back to you. So I have the watch set up now and this is what it looks like. You can swipe up to access all of these features and the heart rate workout activities, weather, music, control, notifications, alarm, event, reminder. And there's also a more button which gives you all of these extra features. So uh, press the button, goes back home. You swipe down to access these quick settings, view the battery life and you can swipe left and right between uh, the activity monitor as well as the heart rate. So uh, that's it, quite simple to operate, just one button operation and the touch screen. So let's quickly go through the similarities and the differences between the Amazfit Verge and this one, the Verge Lite. Now you're probably wondering, not a lot of difference in price, that was, was 12,000, this is 9,000. But this uh, has a couple of things that are extra over and above the Amazfit Verge. And the first thing is the battery life. So this is a heavily optimized. You can probably tell that the screen keeps going off. So it is uh, very heavily optimized for battery life. And Amazfit, uh, the company Wami, they are claiming a 20 day battery life uh, on a full charge with normal usage. And that will come down, of course, if you're using active GPS, that will come down to maybe uh, 30 to 40 hours. But uh, nonetheless, a 20 day battery life does sound very good. We will be checking that out in the full review. So keep a lookout for that. Otherwise, they both have very similar features, notifications, there's alarms, reminders. You can control your music on your phone from this as well. Now, while setting it up, I did notice that the watch casing has this uh, this special design over here. So although the bands are easily removable, if you just uh, slide this lever, the band comes off. 
uh, you will have to uh, find a band that matches this shape so uh, you might have some problem using any band of your own choice so that's a disadvantage right there you cannot use any band that you find and uh, let's other features that i just read about there is an anti fingerprint coating on this it's ip68 certified now ip68 does mean that it is waterproof but uh, it is not supposed to be taken for a swim so um, no swim workouts unfortunately with this watch that being said it does have multi sport tracking so running hiking going to the gym soccer boating golfing all those kind of things it can do it has continuous heart rate sleep tracking it can give you uh, reminders if you're sitting still for too long it's called the sedentary reminder and uh, one of the things that um, it's doing is the lower power sensors that's another thing that i uh, just read about because of the lower power sensors it is managing to uh, give you that extra long battery life and the other optimizations on the screen um, uh, for 20 day battery life that's uh, that's pretty impressive uh, i also should mention there is an ambient light sensor so you can have automatic brightness right now i've set it to manual but if i tap the a it goes into automatic brightness and then reduces the screen brightness it does tend to air on the side of caution and make it a little dimmer than it needs to be i'll switch it off for the purpose of this video now i have here by point of comparison a samsung galaxy watch active and this is a 20000 rupees smartwatch another new product and you can tell how much thinner uh, and smaller it is uh, compared to the amazfit verge light and uh, obviously the Verge Lite does have better battery life than even the Galaxy Active but this uh, has a much sleeker design, it's a metal casing and it feels uh, more like a traditional watch compared to the Verge Lite and this one is meant for somebody who wants a slightly chunkier design, it's a 43mm casing so if you do like those designs then um, do consider the Verge Lite it, at 9000 rupees, um, it really does have a lot of features um, in terms of something that's missing, it doesn't have NFC, it doesn't have a microphone or speaker, so there's no calling, you cannot make or receive calls on it. I already, already mentioned uh, you cannot do swim tracking uh, and there is no built-in storage, so if you wanted to store songs on it and then listen via Bluetooth headset, uh, that does not seem to be possible at all. That being said, it does have the GPS and GLONASS functionality, Bluetooth 5.0. Um, and it can do all your basic uh, smartwatch functions that has notifications and activity tracking. So um, if, if you have any further questions about the Verge Lite, do let us know in the comment section. My Twitter handle should also be mentioned. Uh, my DMs are always open. You can post a question there or in the comment section on this video. Thanks for watching.